Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to Tree Loves to Resale. I am Teresa and um, this is my channel. And I just wanted to come on here and kind of do a little bit of a different video. Normally I do a lot of thrift with me's, what's selling, um, just showing my processes. And today I just thought I would come on here and talk a little bit more of business related stuff. Um, just a quick background. Um, So I actually have um, two degrees. I have a degree in health administration, which is a business degree, and I have a degree in nursing. Uh, before I had my daughter, who's 13, I owned my own business and I worked in the healthcare field. And then my husband and I decided that when I had my daughter, that we would eventually sell my business and I would find something more part-time to do that wasn't so um, time constraints and so much responsibility. My focus turned to being a mom and um, taking care of my daughter. And so now my daughter is 13. And so I have been now doing reselling from home um, while she's in school for about three to four years now. And I would say that I probably work 25 to 30 hours, give and take. Um, it kind of just fluxes. Some days I work more, some days I work less. That's my little dog in the background, my little Charlie. Um, and so I, as I'm watching other videos and I'm sitting here thinking, I often think that I wish that I would have found a video when I was new, like what should I do now or what should I do next? Those kinds of videos. I did not realize when I started reselling some of these key things. So I just thought that I would jump on here really quick and give a couple of pointers for you newbies out there who are just reselling or maybe you've been reselling for six months eight months a year but you're missing some processes or you're finding that you aren't selling what you think you should be and you don't quite know what to do because this can be a lonely job let's face it we work by ourselves we have to find our own community so i'm going to jump right in the biggest thing that I wish that I would have done when I first started was have an idea of an inventory system. What I did was I just started picking up things, you know, finding things to sell, listing them, and then putting them in a bin. And before I knew it, I had like five bins. And every time I would sell something, I would have to go through all these bins. And then my inventory just kept growing and growing. And now I have like 2,500 items. Obviously now I have an inventory system, but in the beginning, I didn't realize that I should have had a better inventory system. So the first, my first thing is think through your process, figure out how big you think you're going to be, or even if you don't think you're going to be big, Plan as if you are, because you never know. I had no idea that I would have this much inventory. And I still have a hard time finding things. So for me, that is my biggest struggle, is my inventory system. Do some research, watch videos, think about what you might want, ask your friends, ask the community, but come up with a plan, come up with an idea, do something. Because if you don't, you're going to wish you have because you're never going to find things and you waste so much time looking for things. That is my biggest key right there. The second thing is I have a plan. Just start thinking of a short-term plan and a long-term plan, meaning how much do you want to make? It can be basic. How much do you want to make? How are you going to put your taxes? Do you have a bank account? Just the simple things when you start a business. I did all of that because I had already owned a business, so I knew that I needed to pay taxes and then I needed to have a bank account and then I needed to keep my receipts. I knew all of that, but some people don't. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is accounting, which kind of goes into the other ones, but start out from the beginning, keeping track of your sales or whatever it is that you wanna do. Whatever process that you want to put in place, start from the beginning because it's so much easier to just start from the beginning than to try to, after a year, 
do all of that. It's so overwhelming. You'll be stressed out. And these are things that could really like hurt you in the long run. So that's kind of my, my blurb here. Um, I didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted, like I said, to jump on here and just throw out some ideas for a newbie or a beginner, or even maybe have someone seasoned that maybe they, you just want to hear another point of view. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I'm going to start doing these little snippets that I call or little small videos of just topics that I think about that I may want to convey. Um, so take a look, keep an eye out and come back and watch another video. Thanks so much for watching. If you uh, learned something new or just were entertained, give me a thumbs up. Thanks so much. Bye.